Gur, Wikipedia Audio. Siamopsis sorolioides L. The Gur or cluster bean, with the botanical name Siamopsis tetragonalaba, is an annual legume and the source of Gur gum. It is also known as Gavar, Gyuwar, or Gavar bean. The origin of Siamopsis tetragonalaba is unknown since it has never been found in the wild. It is assumed to have developed from the African species Siamopsis senegalensis. It was further domesticated in India and Pakistan, where it has been cultivated for many centuries. Gur grows well in semi-arid areas, but frequent rainfall is necessary. Biology this legume is a very valuable plant within a crop rotation cycle, as it lives in symbiosis with nitrogen-fixing bacteria. In fact, agriculturists in semi-arid regions of Rajasthan follow crop rotation and use gur as a source to replenish the soil with essential fertilizers and nitrogen fixation, before the next crop. Gur as a plant has a multitude of different functions for human and animal nutrition but its gelling agent containing seeds are today the most important use. Demand is rising rapidly due to industrial use of gur gum in hydraulic fracturing. About 80% of world production occurs in India and Pakistan, but due to strong demand, the plant is being introduced into new areas. Siamopsis tetragonalaba grows upright, reaching a maximum height of up to 2-3 m. It has a main single stem with either basal branching or fine branching along the stem. Thanks to taproots, the gur plant can access soil moisture in low soil depths. Additionally, this legume develops root nodules with nitrogen-fixing soil bacteria rhizobia in the surface part of its rooting system. Its leaves and stems are mostly hairy, dependent on the cultivar. Its fine leaves have an elongated oval shape and of alternate position. Clusters of flowers grow in the plant axil and are of white to bluish color. The developing pods are rather flat and slim containing 5 to 12 small oval seeds of 5 mm length. Usually, mature seeds are white or gray, but in case of excess moisture they can turn black and lose germination capacity. The chromosome number of gur seeds is 2n equals 14. The seeds of gur beans have a very remarkable characteristic. Its kernel consists of a protein-rich germ and a relatively large endosperm, containing big amounts of the galactomannan. The latter is polysaccharide containing polymers of mannose and galactose in a ratio of 2 colon 1 with many branches. Thanks to the latter, it exhibits a great hydrogen bonding activity having a viscosifying effect in liquids. Forage Gur plants can be used as cattle feed, but due to hydrocyanic acid in its beans, only mature beans can be used. Green manure, gur plantings increase the yield of subsequent crops as this legume conserves soil nutrient content. It is known as gawar in Sindhi, Gujarati, Urdu, Hindi, and Marathi, gwara in Punjabi. Gorakakudukaya in Telugu Gokarakaya in Telangana, Kama, in Kannada, and Kathavere in Tamil Kathamara in Malayalam. Gur is very drought-tolerant and sun-loving, but it is very susceptible to frost. Even though it can cope with little but regular rainfall, it requires sufficient soil moisture before planting and during maturation of seeds. Frequent drought periods can lead to delayed maturation. On the contrary, too much moisture during early phase of growth and after maturation lead to lower seed quality. Gur is also produced near to coastal areas in the Gandhidham region of Kutch, Gujarat, India. Siamopsis tetragonalaba can grow on a wide range of different soil types. 
preferably in fertile, medium-textured, and sandy loam soils that are well-drained because water logging decreases plant performance. In respect of soil acidity, guar grows best in moderate alkaline conditions and is tolerant of salinity. Thanks to its taproots which are inoculated with rhizobia nodules, it produces nitrogen-rich biomass and improves soil quality. It is grown principally in northwestern India and Pakistan with smaller crops grown in the semi-arid areas of the high plains of Texas in the U.S., Australia and Africa. The most important growing area centers on Jodhpur in Rajasthan, India where demand for gur for fractionation produced an agricultural boom as in 2012. Currently, India and Pakistan are the main producers of cluster bean, accounting for 80% production of the world's total, while Dar, Punjab dry areas in Pakistan and Rajasthan, Gujarat, Kutch region occupies the largest area under gur cultivation in India. In addition to its cultivation in India and Pakistan, the crop is also grown as a cash crop in other parts of the world. Several commercial growers have converted their crops to gur production to support the increasing demand for gur and other organic crops in the United States. Vegetable Gur leaves can be used like spinach and the pods are prepared like salad or vegetables. Its beans are very nutritious but the gur protein is not usable by humans unless toasted to destroy the trypsin inhibitor. Pusa Nabahar and Pusa Sadabahar Seeds at the rate of 30 kg slash hectare are planted at a spacing of 45 to 60 x 20 30 cm in February, March and June, July. During rainy season, the seeds are sown 2-3 cm deep on ridges and in furrows during summer months. FYM is applied at the rate of 25 tons slash ha. N. P205 and K20 recommendation for the crop is 20 colon 60 colon 80 kg slash ha. Average yield is 5 to 6 tons slash ha. Meager information is available for genetic variability in cluster bean addressing the qualitative traits. Agriculture Cultivation Domestic use the seeds of the gur bean contain a very large endosperm. This endosperm consists of a very large polysaccharide of galactose and mannose. This polymer is water-soluble and exhibits a viscosifying effect in water. Gur gum has a multitude of different applications in food products, industrial products, and extractive industry. In several food and beverages gur gum is used as additive in order to change its viscosity or as fiber source. Partially hydrolyzed gur gum is produced by the partial enzymatic hydrolysis of garin, the galactomannan of the endosperm of gur seeds. It is a neutral polysaccharide consisting of a mannose backbone chain with single galactose side units occurring on almost two out of every three mannose units. The average molecular weight is about 25,000 daltons. This gives a pHgg that still assays and functions as a soluble dietary fiber. pHgg as sold commercially is completely soluble, acid and heat stable, unaffected by ions, and will not gel at high concentrations. Commercial PHGG is approximately 75% dietary fiber and has minimal effect on taste and texture in food and beverage items. PHGG is fully fermentable in the large bowel, with a high rate of volatile fatty acid formation. The pH of the feces is lowered along with an increase in fecal bulk that mainly consists of bacterial cell mass and water. Clinical studies have demonstrated a prebiotic effect of PHGG. Studies have also shown that PHGG can be used to maintain regularity. PHGG is used in foods for particulate suspension, 
emulsification, anti-staling, ice crystal control, and reduced fat baked goods. Derivatives of gur gum that has been further reacted is also used in industrial applications, such as the paper and textile industry, or flotation, the manufacture of explosives and hydraulic fracturing of oil and gas formations. Gour gum is often cross-linked with boron or chromium ions to make it more stable and heat-resistant. The cross-linking of gour with metal ions results in a gel that does not block the formation and helps efficiently in formation cleaning process. Gour and its derivatives make gel complexes with ions of aluminium, zirconium, titanium, chromium, and boron. The borate gour reaction is reversible and depends on the pH of the solution. Cross-linking of gour with borate occurs at high pH of the solution. Gour gum has also proven a useful substitute for locust bean gum. Gour meal korma and gour meal curai are widely used as prime raw material for producing various kinds of cattle feeds, aqua feeds, fish feeds, poultry feeds, dairy feeds, Swine feeds, etc. Names in other languages Climate requirements Through the use of gour gum in the hydraulic fracturing extraction of oil and shale gas, the demand has increased substantially. Only 10% of the Indian production stays within the country, and the remaining 90% is exported for shale gas and oil industries. Consequently, Many former cotton or wheat fields are converted into gour fields as production costs are also lower. But the increase of gour gum prices also has other reasons. But since prices are lower the farmers stop harvesting the gour and return to cotton and cumin and sesame crops sowing. Soil Requirements Cultural Practices Cultivation Areas Varieties Uses Gour plant Gour gum Food Industry Feeds Fracking agent 